Welcome to using the Upgrade dialog. The Upgrade dialog is our primary tool for adding operators to our touch center networks, and we can do this a number of different ways. We can double click inside of the network. We can use the tab key. We can use the plus button from the pane bar, or we can even right click inside of the network and select add operator. Operators in the Upgrade dialog are grouped into different families based on the data that they contain and are arranged as a series of tabs across the top of the Upgrade dialog. We can move right and left through these by using the Tab key and Shift tab. We can also quickly search through all the operators inside of a given family by typing in the search field to match against the name of the operator. For example, MOV shows movie file in and movie file out. Let's grab a movie file in top. Tops are texture operators, and texture operators are what we use for dealing with images and pixel data. Chops or channel operators are how we manipulate channels or sequences of numbers. Let's use a constant chop, and we can see here that in this case we have a channel that's a sequence of just one number. We might, for example, look at something like the pattern chop, and here we have a sequence of many numbers inside of this single channel. SOPs are surface operators, and surface operators are a family that deals with reading and creating and even modifying 3D points, polygons, lines, particles, surfaces, spheres, and metaballs. Let's go ahead and grab a torus here and add this here into our network. I'm going to go ahead and change the orientation of this to be on the z-axis so we can see this arranged a little differently. Mats or materials are a family of operators that apply a shader to SOPs or uh, 3D components so we can actually render these as textured surfaces with lighting. Typical operators here that you might use in a network would be something like PBR for physically based rendering, Fong or wireframe, or the new line material. We might also look at DATs or data operators, and DATs are used to hold text data like strings, scripts, and XML. A chop execute is a typical type of operator that we can use here, and we can see right off the gate that this contains a bunch of Python that we'd use here inside of Touch Center. DATs can also be tables, and if we add a table DAT here, we can see that our table DAT can have a set of dimensions that lets us specify how many cells, as uh, rows and columns, is held inside of this table. Finally, we have comps. Components are a special type of operator because these operators can hold whole other networks inside of them. Let's take a look at our geometry component. The geometry component actually holds another network inside of it, and if we use the middle mouse button or scroll wheel, we can zoom inside of this component to see the network inside of it. We can zoom out to see the network outside of it. 3D geometry components are used to actually think about all sorts of different types of transformations we might do with 3D geometry. Components also have a notion of panels, and this is what we use for actually building UI elements here inside of Touch Center. I'm going to go ahead and grab a button component and add it here into my network. If I zoom inside of the button, I can see this actually contains other elements inside of it. Finally, if we take a look back here at our OpCreate dialog, we can see that our operators come in two different colors. And these different colors represent both generators and filters. Generators are a darker color, and generators are nodes that uh, generate something here inside of Touch Center. These operators add new information into our network. And so we might look at something, for example, like our circle uh, top. Our circle top creates a circle. Um, it creates something that we can actually modify and change here inside of Touch Center. Now, if, for example, I was connect going to connect that to something like, say, my edge top, my edge is a filter. Uh, my edge top processes or changes, it filters the information that comes from another operator. Generators and filters can be found in every family, and you can distinguish them by their difference between their darker and lighter color.